since he came, since there's he been came. a change. I no longer, no longer am the same. Hey, 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 welcome to the Main J Show, aka Main Chat. And just before we get started, just a couple of announcements, all right? The church announcements. Um. If you're watching this on the Main J Show YouTube channel, thank you very much for being a subscriber. If you're not, please subscribe to the Main J Show. Hey, the link is at the bottom of the video. If you're watching this on my original YouTube channel, Jay Johnson, thank you for being a subscriber. However, just remember that this page is specifically for all the praise break videos and all the praise and worship and all the singing and all the other stuff that you like that made you subscribe in the first place. All right. So that's pretty much the announcement. So today, what I want to talk about just for a few minutes, let me get my notes out. Let me get my notes. Um, it's just about family. Um, what's real family? What's family? What's blood family? What's all this other stuff? Um, personal moment, personal testimony moment. I recently just lost my mother. Um, and to be specific, my adopted mother. I am legally adopted. Hey, I grew up in the foster care system for some years and um, I became adopted, amen. And I also have a relationship with my biological parents as well. And when I lost my mother on Sunday, I made a, I finally made a post after my dad said something. You know, I respect the family, respect the family. I made a post after my dad made one about his wife. And while there's a lot of people that were sending their condolences and saying, sorry for your loss. First of all, this is not amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Nothing was lost. So I, I don't know why people say sorry for your loss. That's, that's a whole nother story that we can get into and dig deep into another time. But many people were asking me, was it my real mother? 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 And it bothered me. It always, this, this topic always bothered me when it comes to people saying, is that your real mom, your real dad, your real family, all this other stuff. And a part of me was like, why does it matter? If I said my mother passed, that's, that's what the heck that meant. And then I realized that a lot of people know my story, know my testimony, know that um, I take a lot of pictures with my biological parents. Um, and I guess they maybe wanted to make sure they were saying rest in peace or condolences to the right parent, I guess. But just the fact that people was asking, was it my real mother, really kind of bothered me. And it made me think about how people view family. And I just wanted to talk to you all just to just remind, first of all, whenever someone loses someone, just be sensitive. Sorry for your loss. Sorry for you know, hearing about the news, da da da. All that extra stuff was the your real parent, your adopted parent, your foster parent, all this other stuff. That's neither here nor there. Y'all need to stop sometimes with all the questions and how did they die and what happened and all this other stuff. It's ridiculous. And just just to be mindful that everyone's family dynamic is different. Some people have the blessing and the luxury to be brought up in the family that they was born into. Others don't have that luxury. Um, everyone's family dynamic is different. And just because someone is blood doesn't mean that they're real. And just because someone is not blood doesn't mean that they're not real. As we know, um, there are some parents who don't want their children. There are some families where um, I have a friend where his grandmother's his mother. His grandmother raised him. Every time he turned around, he was always at grandma's house. Grandma always had him. Grandma was the one bringing him to school and feeding him lunch, breakfast, dinner. And he know, grand, my grandmother's my mother. There's others that sometimes you grow up in your aunt uncle's home. Yes, they, they may be your cousins, but you grew up as brother and sister. So they might say, these are really, they're really my brother and sister. This is how we, we were raised this way. We're, we're first cousins, we're cousins, whatever the case may be. But these are my brothers and sisters. Um, others, like I said, like myself, are, could be adopted, grew up in foster care, and maybe they had a great foster mother that stuck with them the whole time. So this person is their mother. Um, the kids are their brother and sister. Whatever somebody's family dynamic is, I just believe that it should be respected and 
if they see that this is their real family or these are their parents or these are their brothers and sisters, then that should be acknowledged and it should be respected. And just the fact that we say, you know, it's just, it's just real. I think the question should be, if you're going to ask that question, was this your blood family? I can respect that more than someone saying that, that is, that's your real family because to them, that might be their real family. My, you know, someone's story might be my mother didn't raise me. My father didn't raise me. This man over here raised me. This man or this woman over here are my parents. These people over here did not want me. The family I was born into, these people over here to the, to the left did. These people are my family. These are my aunts. These are my uncles. These are my brothers. These are my sisters. This is my real family. May not be blood, but they are real. These people over here are my blood, but they're not my real family. They want nothing to do with me, or we don't we don't talk, they don't treat me as family. Here, this family is my family. And I just want to say, like, I, I just really was surprised at how many people was asking me, you know, was your real mom, was your real mother, was your real mom? And then when I was saying it was my adopted mom, many of them was just like, oh, oh, good. It's not good. My real mother passed. She was my real mother. Nothing against my, my biological mother. I love her dearly. Nothing against my biological father, but that man didn't raise me. You know, I love him. And my adopted parents will always be acknowledged. They will always be respected. They're the ones who raised me. They're the ones who love me. I still keep in contact with some of my, um, I don't like the word foster. I don't like the word adopted. But I guess sometimes you have to, you know, break break the levels down. Um, and even with some of my foster parents. Well, one, I really keep in contact with like all the time. And my brothers and sisters, I don't like the word foster. We all grew up in the same houses. We grew up as family. That's what we are. And I just want us to just be, once again, just a little bit more mindful when we, uh, when people acknowledge people as family. You know, you may not always be blessed to be with the family that you were born into, but if you're able to get adopted or taken in or, uh, or accept it into another family that wants you, that wants to love you, that wants to take care of you, that wants to acknowledge you as that, then you're blessed as well. And don't let nobody ever make you feel any different. Um, and I even noticed that even with my own biological family, um, me and my siblings are different shades. You know, as, 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 as family colors, sometimes you come in different, um, let me drink some apple juice real quick. You come in different shades. And I remember a few times, like my sister was like, this is my this is my brother, this is my brother. And they would look. And they would even ask, like, is he your real brother? And yeah, we came out the same vagina. We came out the same puss. We came out the same bush, the same badge. But just different colors. You know, different shades. Um, same thing sometimes. Me and nephews, like, this is my uncle. And these are my biological relatives. And, you know, once again, if I'm dark and somebody's lighter or lighter or brown or whatever the case may be, they look. Family's family. We come in all different shapes and colors. Um, family dynamics are different. You know, like I said, based on who you're raised by. Some people are raised by their older siblings and their other parents and aunts or uncles or grandparents, cousins, whoever, adopted, foster, you know, family's family. Family is family. Growing up in the church world, family is family. I got a whole bunch of aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, nieces, and nephews, and they are acknowledged as such. And once again, I just think that we have to do better when we are asking people questions in regards to death, number one. But just in general, whatever somebody says is their family. Even if you know, um, maybe the family tea, the family business, you may, you know, you may feel some type of way because the child is saying over here, this is, this is my mom, this is my dad. And you know that your sister or your brother is really their mom or their dad. You might say, well, no, nah, no, nah. yes, auntie, uncle so-and-so, I understand what you're saying. That's your brother, that's your sister. You got their back. However, your brother didn't raise me. I say all the time about my biological father, I love him daily. 
he didn't raise me. My mother get a pass because, you know, she was always there even if, while I was in foster care and stuff. But my adopted parent and some of the parents that raised me will always get acknowledged on Mother's Day, will get acknowledged on Father's Day. They took me into their homes and they loved me. And those are the best family. Family isn't just because your blood. You know that same blood is thicker than water? That's not necessarily true. I'm going to chew on that real quick. And once again, just because your blood don't make you family. It makes you related. Don't make you family. Sometimes your own blood don't want you, treat you worse off than, than the people that aren't your blood. The people that aren't your blood sometimes treat you way better, love you way more, accept you way more, push you way more, um, and all that. So it's whatever your family is, love your family, embrace them, embrace and love the ones that want you to be their family, that took you in, that acknowledge you as family. That's your family. That's your real family. You may not be my blood, but you're my family. And I think that's just my spill on it. Um, I'm not going to go too much further into detail about it to all my fellow foster people. Your family is your family. Whoever you made it to be. So all my adopted, my fellow adoptees, doctors, you know, your family is your family. Whatever, you, Whoever you adopted, whoever you took in, whoever you loved. Um, to all the people who grew up in church families like me, your family is your family. You know, many different dynamics. And if you claim them, they claim you, and that's your real family, then that's your real family. So let's just stop asking if that's your real. Ask if that's your ask. Ask from now on, let's go asking if we have to ask, if we have to be nosy, if we have to be all up in the business. Is that your blood? But don't ask if that's your real, because I think that that's just offensive. Because your real family is what, whoever that person acknowledges as that. And um, that's pretty much it for this topic. I ain't got too much to say. I didn't have too much tea to spill. If you have any topics that y'all want me to talk about, uh, definitely email me at the main J show at gmail.com. Um, or you can leave them under this video and we can, I always will respond back to anybody who writes anything on the video, but that's pretty much it. Love your family, embrace them, especially during this time of quarantine, you know, reach out. People are dropping, uh, my flies left and right and. People can't be around their families right now. Um, I can't really be around my dad because he's a senior. Um, and of course, we can't even bury my mom or have a proper funeral because of, you know, the the limit of people be able to be around and the social distances and all that stuff. So love your family, embrace them, you know, call them, check up on them. And remember, once again, your family it's your family. Your family is what you make it. And have a blessed one. Peace. Since it came, there's been a change. I no longer.